Today, I'm taking a look at this, the Airfix 176 scale Sherman M4A2 tank. Join me as I take a look inside the box and find out what's actually included in this kit. Hi, I'm Matt and you're watching Model Minutes. Before I start the video, a quick shout out to my patrons. From as little as $1 a month, you can help support the channel and ensure that content continues to be created. Thanks to everyone who's supported me so far. So today's kit on the workbench that we're having a look at is this quite old reboxing of the Sherman. So as you can see, we've got quite a glossy box with a nice image on the front. On the side of the box, we've got a flying hour. It tells us that it's skill level two, and it also depicts the two different decal options that you might want to choose. A little bit of information about the actual kit. And on this side, we've got some safety warnings. The rear of the box features the painting information. As you can see, this is quite a simple kit and only requires four paints to be completed. Let's take a look inside the box. As is standard from Airfix, the instructions follow a very familiar format. Information about the actual Sherman is presented on the front in different languages. So too are health and safety warnings and general information about how to construct the kit. The instructions are fairly simple and only feature six steps. This build does look to be a little fiddly in places due to the fact that there are multiple parts that need to be assembled. This will be quite a fiddly step as well, getting the tracks to fit in. As you can see there, they recommend that you heat them up in order to stick them together. So fairly simple instructions. On this page, you've got a painting and decal placement instruction, which is a supplement to the one which was featured on the box. The decals are to the normal standard from Airfix. They are well printed and look to have no blemishes or printing errors. Now let's take a look at the contents of the bag. Here we've got the two rubber tracks which require heat to be able to join them together. They are slightly misshapen and I imagine that you probably have to warm them up in some water to get them to bend back to their original shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little sprues which are moulded in an olive green sort of colour plastic. Now I am of the impression that this is quite an old kit, so the details are somewhat lacking and crude. There is a little bit of flash present here and there on the kit, but all in all it's in a reasonable condition. This is the top hull of the tank, and as you can see, it's got small details moulded on, but they are a little bit crude. Here you can see the cogs and wheels, and again, the detailing is a little bit crude, and there is a little bit of flash present here and there. The same is to be said about the rest of the components. They go along a similar sort of line. The bottom of the tank, again, in a similar sort of condition. But as you can see, there's not a great deal of parts here, so I don't think this will present many issues when building. You can see a little bit of flash on this part here. That will require a little bit of cleaning up before we get into building this one. So yeah, I reckon that all in all, the detail level on this is reasonable, and the quality is okay as well. But it is quite an old kit by the looks of it. And I imagine that I'll probably come up with some issues during the construction. So let's just put that away. So what do I think of this 176 scale Sherman M4A2 tank from Airfix? Um, skill level two, I'm not entirely sure it is a skill level two. Probably they've done that because of the complicated track and uh, sort of suspension area here, because you've got to put multiple parts together for that. But all in all, I think it's sort of showing its age, um, but it will end up being quite fun, in my opinion. 
So if you'd like to see me build this kit, make sure you put a comment underneath the video. And all that's left to say is thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the workbench again next time.